the 3rd of November 1973, an Atlas Centaur rocket launches from Cape Canaveral, carrying on board a half-ton satellite called Mariner 10, its destination, Mercury. Just two days before Mariner 10 was due to start its flyby to the closest planet to the Sun, its onboard instruments detected huge levels of ultraviolet radiation that simply should not have been there. Could they be coming from an intense source of UV radiation found on the planet? Before they could investigate further, the puzzling UV signals vanished. Then, surprise, three days after the initial detection, the instruments picked them up again. Only this time, they appeared to be coming from an object that definitely isn't on Mercury. Was this source of UV radiation a Mercurian moon? Well, what else could it be? It couldn't be a star, as everyone knew that UV radiation at such extreme wavelengths couldn't penetrate very far through the interstellar medium, and the UV was detected coming from two different directions, something a single star couldn't do. Therefore, it must be a moon, or something on its surface, that's emitting this intense ultraviolet radiation. The 29th of March 1974 was far from a quiet morning at the Jet Propulsion Labs in California. They've done some quick calculations and found the newly discovered object was moving at about 4 kilometers a second, which is the velocity a moon around Mercury would most likely have, meaning all signs were pointing to a big discovery. The management at JPL ordered the UV detection instruments to be turned up to 11, and they eagerly watched the moon come into sight, and then way off the predicted course, far away from Mercury, and way out of its hill sphere. Mariner 10 hadn't discovered a moon around Mercury. What it found instead was 31 Craterus, a binary star system that emitted, you guessed it, large amounts of UV radiation. Digging through the data they'd just collected, they found that 31 Craterus had a binary orbital period of 2.9 days, which is why the UV radiation suddenly disappeared after it was first discovered. While a moon had not been found around Mercury, a significant astronomical discovery had been made. Ultraviolet radiation can indeed penetrate through the interstellar medium, which opened up a whole new way for astronomers to view and study the stars beyond our solar system. 